Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? This is Jamie from Sharon at Sea Travel, and today I am on Holland America's Volendam cruise ship. It's uh, just after five in the morning. I thought this would be the perfect time to take you all on a little cruise ship tour and show you all the great things that this cruise ship has to offer. Now, this is kind of a unique cruise ship. She was built in 1999, or should I say, first sailed in 1999. It's the oldest cruise ship in Holland America's uh, fleet, and it's also the smallest uh, cruise ship holding just under 1,500 passengers. There are a total of nine decks on this cruise ship. We've got decks one and two all cabins. We're currently on deck three, which is also all cabins, except for this small little forward centralized area, uh, which is level one of a three level atrium. Right here in this area, there are gonna be some offices for folks to work at. There are a number of desks. You've got the central little design uh, column right here. And that's all we really got right here in this area. But we're gonna go forward and get this party started in the world stage. And we're gonna show you everything this cruise ship has to offer. So come on, let's go. Let's get started right here on deck four. This is the promenade deck. We we're just on deck three, the lower promenade. I mentioned earlier, they have deck one, all cabins, the dolphin deck. Deck two is the main deck. Then we have the lower, the promenade, and the upper promenade. Going up the veranda, navigation, the Lido deck, and the sports deck. So we are forward on deck four right now. And uh, right in front of us is going to be the world stage. So let's see if we can go take a look at that world stage and check it out. All right, so it looks like we're in luck. The World Stage area is open. So let's go take a look at the lower level of the main show lounge on this cruise ship. Let me stop here and just take a turn around. I love the seating on this cruise ship. Everywhere you look, it is comfortable, nook and cranny type seating. I love the couches, I love the tables. I love everything that this World Stage area has to offer. It's one of the smaller spots on any cruise ship we've been on as far as stage room, but it looks fantastic. It's formal, it's classy, and here's what it looks like if you're standing up on the stage area. You've got an upper level up there that we'll show you here as we get to the next deck. So there you have it, that's the world stage. You have two entrances, one's gonna be on the uh, starboard side ones are going to be on the port side we came in starboard let's leave port and we'll take a look and see what the rest of this deck has to offer i love the decor the gold the lighting it just looks fantastic so many decorative pieces throughout the ship very very cool now as we exit the world stage we're going to come to the photo area Right here, they've got a selection of items that you can purchase. Binoculars, viewfinders. You can come down here and learn how to make your own mugs and water bottles. And this is gonna be your photo area on the ship. The Fuji Wonder Photoshop. You can view your cruise photos right here. As usual, they'll be taking them all throughout the cruise ship. And then we're gonna enter the atrium area here on this level. Oh, you can see right down there was deck three. That's where we were just sitting a moment ago. Now we're here on deck four. The atrium does go up to deck five. Let me just give you a little perspective that we are right now at the forward elevator bank. There's gonna be three elevator banks on this cruise ship. Each elevator bank will have four elevators in it. And so now that we're forward, let's start walking back towards the aft area of the ship and take a look. Guest services right here. So we're excursion desk right here. And by the way, when you're ready to debark, you're gonna find your luggage tags all right here waiting for you. So you can find out what section you can debark in. A lovely area right here with wine. They're gonna do wine tastings and things in this area. I love the lighting on the ship. It's always so lit up. This is the Wajang Theater right here. A 
the Wajang Theater is a small theater-like area where they're going to do cooking classes, cooking displays, all kinds of cool things like that. If you have issues with accessibility, they are going to have you covered there. As you can notice on the floor, you've got the, the spots there for your wheelchairs and things to make you nice and comfortable in here. So that's the Wajang Theater. Again, the wine area right here. Now straight ahead from us is gonna be the Pinnacle Grill. This will be their fine dining specialty establishment. It looks pretty locked up and closed. Although the door's open and we can give you a sneak peek in the dark. But that's gonna be your Pinnacle Grill right here on the cruise ship. Although we didn't eat here this week, we ate at the Pinnacle Grill on the Stam two months ago and it was amazing. I mentioned the little designs and great things you find throughout the ship. This is one of them. Now this hallway is so cool. All the plaques, all the awards, everything that they have to show for the Fallen Dam right here. Things like inaugural visits to Grenada. Visiting the port of Osaka in Japan. Just very cool stuff throughout here. All right, so now we are midship on deck four. But guess what, guys? Midship on deck four is where this party stops. As you can tell by the map right there, this area here is going to be all galley going to the main level of the dining room. So at this point, we're going to have to go up one level, go all the way back to the front of the ship and start again on deck five, your upper promenade. So let's get there. Deck five, upper promenade. I'm going to take a quick run back to the front of the ship so we can head from front to back one more time. All right, so we just jumped up to deck five. Hey everybody, good to see you. And this is the upper promenade deck. We're back at the forward elevators, just to give you perspective. Again, four elevators per elevator bank. Yes, you've got your stairs going up and down if you wanna use those. And here we've got the world stage again. I mentioned we take a look at the upper area this time. One thing I do like is these illuminated signs to watch your step. There's lots of stairs in here and it can be a little bit tricky. So they have these all over the area here and I like that a lot. Of course, you got your electronics booth right here. It's where they work all the magic. And then you can take a look right down there at the stage. And you can see to my right, plenty of seating. To my left as well. Now, if I can go as far as to recommend the seat, these front row seats right here are fantastic because they've got your drink holders and you've got a great view of everything going on right down there on the stage. We saw a show here the other night, the Step One Dance Troupe, and they were fabulous. Highly recommend it. So come check out the shows, the talks, and that's all the fun stuff they're gonna do here in the uh, Forward World Stage area. All right, let's get out of here. Now there will be entrances to the world stage on the starboard and the port side of the ship. So just keep that in mind. All right, again, for perspective, we are at the forward elevator banks. One thing I want to point out, I always love to let people know, what's the restroom situation like on the cruise ship? Well, on the port side, as you exit the world stage, They've got you covered, men's and ladies right here. So there's no shortage of restrooms. I don't know if that's crazy to talk about in a uh, ship tour, but hey, you know what? It's important to people. All right, so as we exit the forward elevator bank, we come to the upper level of the atrium. All right, we'll just take a look down there. You can see we were on deck four earlier, on deck three before that. Now we're on deck five, upper promenade. And one fun, fun area on the ship is going to be 
the ocean bar. That's gonna be on your starboard side. Of course, there's the bar area right there. Plenty of really, really comfortable seating throughout this ship, including this lounge right here. And here they're gonna have the ocean bar band playing. Uh, I've heard jazz coming out of here. I've heard contemporary music. They've got all the instruments, full drum kit, piano, a singer, guitar, bass, they've got it all. Serving cocktails in here at the Ocean Bar. Now across from the Ocean Bar, you've got a little shopping and this is where the shopping fun begins. Right there is the port side entrance to the world stage. And here we go, the shops. Usually they'll have a lot of tables set out here during the day, promoting all the great deals. And there were some great deals. They had some good discounts on some items. In here, they do have your cigarettes, your booze. Just give you a little glimpse in there. Now remember, I said it's early, early in the morning. That's why these things are not open. A view at the atrium area from the other way. I mean, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's just formal, it's clean, it looks fabulous. Now we're getting a little bit towards midship and we're gonna enter the casino area, which is adjacent to the mix area and the shopping. First, let's check out the casino. Now, I'm here to tell you, this is one of the smallest casinos that we've ever seen on the ship. They've got your roulette table right here. They've got your card tables. They have slots. Not necessarily the newest slot games in town. As a matter of fact, Sharon was looking for a Wheel of Fortune. She didn't find it. She was a little bummed out. But we did find one or two Buffalo games to play if you're a slot player. So there's just a look. They've got card tables. And here's something that's adorable. It's a baby craft table. It'll fit, I don't know, one, two, three, maybe six or so players. Um, but it's only got one main field in the middle instead of two, one being on each side. But if you're a big time gambler, this cruise ship, this cruise line may not be for you. Quite often there's only one, two, three at the most dealers at any of the tables and they rotate around based on uh, who wants to play what game. They'll still have your fun bingo stuff, giveaways in here and things like that, but just not a huge, huge draw on this cruise ship or this cruise line. All right, so here's an exit out of the casino into that bar area I just showed you. We could have entered through that side, but right here is the spirits and ale bar. Again, great comfortable seating throughout. Let's go this way and give you another look at it. This deck, though, you can see is really the big hangout area on the cruise ship. Notice up there, if you want a little bit of a sports fix, they've got two TVs just showing ESPN2. We've got shopping here. Swarovski crystal. Perfumes, colognes, handbags. Effie Jewelry. Again, another look at the bar area right here. Very cool. All right, so I mentioned that is the Spirit and Ales Bar. But this whole area here is kind of called the Mix Area. They will have trivia and things in this area here. They've got the piano set up. Uh, the often nights we're going to see a piano player. It's not like a dueling piano, piano bar type of thing. Not a lot of silliness going on, but a uh, talented pianist singing, playing along, getting people involved and having a lot of fun with it. Now, right now we're on the starboard side of the ship. There's no port side to walk down as we head towards the aft section of the cruise ship. But again, I mentioned the seating, crazy, crazy comfy. Now, if you ask me, Holland America, I would tell you to make this a football uh, viewing area on any given Sunday. One, two, three, four, I got five television screens up there. I don't know if they can put a TV link in there, 
but that would be huge. I don't know that there's any place on the ship to watch football, although in their cruise cabin, they list a number of football games that they're gonna play. So that's kind of cool. Let me give you guys a little more perspective on where we are. Here is the midship elevator bank. Just so you can see where we just came from. Forward, we walk through, we're at the midship area right now. Heading towards the aft of the ship. Now on the port side is the Hudson room. That's towards the exit of the casino. And the Hudson room is just really a meeting room, a gaming room, uh, a place for folks to hang out a little bit, playing cards, bridge, things like that. You're gonna find that kind of activity here. Now let me head back over here to the starboard side of the cruise ship. Remember where we just came from that area? Right, that's where the piano setup was. Now this is cool. I wish that I could show you guys this. But behind this cage, let me see if I can overlay a video right here. But behind this cage locked up is some high-end fine jewelry and they do uh, appointments for displays of, uh, of the jewelry. It's called the uh, Mirabella Collection, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, here it is. The Marabella Luxury Collection. So if you're looking to drop some serious coin on some jewelry, they can take care of you here on the ball and dam. Now coming up here, we have the Explorer's Lounge. All right, some great decoration on the wall here. And then they've got a whole lounge area right here where they're gonna do different talks and things like that. Now they're also gonna have classical music that gets played here at times in the Explorer's Lounge. And then the cruise and travel director, Kimberly, will also do talks in here. They should do like coffee with Kimberly. And the reason that they do coffee with Kimberly right there is the Explorer's Lounge. It's adjacent to the Explorer's Cafe. That's right, right on the port side of the ship. You've got the cafe area. Oh, by the way, if you wanna book another cruise while you're here, this is kind of like the future cruise desk area. So they got a very big area here to sit and enjoy some coffee. You can get the Americano Latte, Cappuccino, Mocha, Caramel Latte, Hot Chocolate, Chai Tea Latte, Espresso. They've got all that kind of good tasty stuff here. Now let me show you. They've got kind of a mini library set up. There are some books here. If you want to get a look. They've got game tables throughout. Views outside through the windows. They've got a puzzle area right here for folks who just come with their friends and put together puzzles all week long. Looks like a few folks are midway through some puzzles right here. More books that you can engage your mind with. A little internet cafe area right here with a printer. And a location map if you're trying to get the scoop. 61 degrees today at sea, October 1st, 2023. All right. So now we're going to head back to the dining room area. Again, that was the Explorations Cafe, the Explorers Lounge was the other side. Right here, we are at the aft elevator station. You know, I always like to let you know more restrooms right over here, convenient right outside of the dining area. Now earlier, you remember when we were on deck four and we were stopped right in midship. That's because the whole galley is there. But now we are at the upper level of the dining room. So we can show you the upper level and we'll take a look at the lower level as well while we're here. The upper level, 
is going to be primarily set dining times. If you're seated in early late dining, you'll be up here. More of an anytime dining downstairs, but it's beautiful. The flowers are gorgeous. Sharon and I went back and forth. Are some of them real and fresh? Are they all plastic? I don't know. But if you think they're real, I don't want to be the one to ruin it for you. So you've got the upper level right here in the dining room. And then just down there, you've got the lower level. Again, gorgeous, formal, looks great. If you're lucky, you get a nice seat along the windows in the back. I love the chandelier designs right here. It just looks fantastic. All right, I know you're saying, come on, Jamie, take us downstairs. So here's the downstairs area. I mentioned it's early in the morning, that's why you're not seeing anyone, but I'm just now starting to see some of the workers coming out, doing all their hard work, preparing the ship for the day's activities. All right, so there you go. So that's gonna be a little bit of a look at the dining room area. Now, that's it, we're at the back of the ship on uh, deck five, nothing else to see here. And deck six, seven are all cabins with the exception of the Neptune lounge. And that's for the sweet guests. I don't know if we get in there. That's just a little lounge where folks can go relax, uh, probably have a bite to eat, have a cocktail, and just chill out with the other sweet guests. But we're gonna go up to deck eight. That's the Lido deck. So let's head up there right now, get to the forward area, and show you what's going on in the Lido. They've got two pools up there. They've got the buffet. Let's go take a look. Real quick, before we head up to the Lido, let me just show you the main entrance to the main dining room here on deck four. They do have a little area for your Club Orange dining. They don't have a separate dining room for Club Orange guests. Club Orange is a program you can pay a little extra to be involved in for a little bit of an upscale experience here on Holland and Record Ships. But it just looks clean, cultured. I love that there's some little seats out here you can actually sit in while you wait. And I know I mention it all the time, but hey, men's room, ladies room right outside of the uh, dining room. I like it. All right, let's head up to the uh, Lido deck. All right, well, listen, it's time for the usual pit stop, guys. If you watch the channel, you know I love to do these uh, ship tours very early in the morning. We started today at 5.15, 5.30, somewhere in there. Sorry, we got a little shaken because uh, the ship is actually shaken, believe it or not. These small ships can be a little bouncy at times. And uh, here on the Pacific, the water does not always cooperate. We've had some pretty rough seas here, and it's something to think about if you are sailing a Pacific Coast cruise. Make sure you bring a little something uh, for, for the seasickness if you get that way. But listen, I just want to stop and say cheers. Appreciate you making it this far into the video. If you haven't done it yet, do us a favor here at the channel. Subscribe real quick. It doesn't hurt you, and it's super easy to do. Just hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. For me, Sharon, both of us, whatever the case is, hit the thumbs up if you're enjoying the video. Mm. All right, so we've seen the lower decks. Now we're up on deck eight. And this is the Lido deck, and there's one more above this. So we're gonna head to the front of the ship and get started. The front of the ship should be the spa area. Then we ought to come into the Lido pool area that's covered, go through the buffet, and then see the back pool area at the back aft end of the ship. And uh, that's where we're heading right now. So cheers to you. Let's get going. All right, so we're back and we're getting started here on deck eight. We are at the forward elevators. Just to give you that perspective again. Now you can go up one more flight of stairs to get up to uh, deck nine where the crow's nest is. We're gonna check that out a little bit. Or you can go left and go right to the greenhouse spa and salon. There are some changing rooms over here for the spa and salon, I'm assuming. Well, let's go this way, see what we can check out today. Front desk area here. Ooh, nice little design and seating area. Now they've got a nice fitness area right here. Folks already working out in here this morning. They got free weights, they've got the bikes, they've got the treadmills, the machines. 
Looks like they'll do some spin classes as well. So here we are already hopping this morning here in the gym, the fitness area. Now I don't think much of the spa area is actually open to us at the moment. So we're gonna keep on moving. And now we are back right here at the, uh, the deck eight forward elevators. And now we're gonna get front to back here, deck eight, the Lido deck. First thing we're gonna see is the Lido pool area. It's kind of like the midship pool area. Covered pool. This will always be climate controlled in here. The report is that the pools are heated and they are warm. You've got a couple hot tubs right here. A beautiful dolphin design right there, which is super cool. And then you've got the pool right here. It's got an area you can just sit on around the side, but the pool does go from about four feet to up to like six, six and a half feet. Six foot nine inches, as a matter of fact, down that end after you walk in this way. So you can definitely have a little depth in the pool area. I know it's a little dark in here, and for that I apologize. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna load a couple of clips in on top of what we're seeing here so you can get a full feel for what this looks like during the day. But you have your roof right there. A couple ping pong tables in one corner. Behind me, you've got the dive in. A uh, burger joint, I guess you could call it. They've got burgers, hot dogs, chicken sandwiches, and one cool thing that we didn't see on our last cruise on the con exam, they have a taco bar that they put out here as well. So that's kind of cool. Comfortable seating throughout this area. You can get a lounger here by the pool. Uh, if the weather's nice, they will go ahead and open up this roof. So that's why they have the umbrellas here. Everywhere you sit, you've got a great look outside. Right now, it's still dark out there. I don't know if we're gonna catch a sunrise this morning or not. Keep your fingers crossed. They've got one main Lido bar right here. One thing missing that we've experienced before on Holland America is the New York deli and pizza place. It did break our heart when we found out there wasn't one on this ship, but you know what? You make do and you do the best you can. So here's one more little look around at this kind of forward Lido pool covered area right here. Good morning, how you doing today? Oh, you're good. <laughs> Thank you, man. You can see a little bit the movement there in the water. That's how much the ship is kind of rocking right now. Now, if that water starts flashing over the edge, then you know that ship is in motion and we've hit some rougher seas. Not too bad right now, not too bad. Now we could go that way and we could enter the buffet area. We could do the same over here and there's gonna be a buffet on each side. And I'm gonna go this way and show you the buffet because there's a couple other things I wanna show you on this particular side, the starboard side. I mentioned comfortable seating before. I mean, it's crazy how comfy it is right here couches, cushions, the chairs are all cushioned seating, and they're wider chairs. So if you're a bigger kid, you know, you can still fit in there. You won't get too tight of a hip squeeze. So now we're getting into the Lido restaurant right here. Again, we're gonna start to see some people as it gets later in the morning. All right, again, perspective, midship elevators right here. And let's just go right through the midship elevator area. And the first spot you get here on the buffet is the sweet spot, Sharon's favorite spot. And it looks like they've got some food coming out already. That's a little special treat we got for you. You can see some food this morning. Most of the buffet still closed at the moment. You got your drink station over there. Plenty of seating here. But let me go over to this side real quick. We've got some yogurt, some fruit out already. Now right here is the Canaletto. This is the Italian specialty dining area on the cruise ship. It's adjacent to the buffet and it does provide um, overflow seating. 
for the buffet during the day if it's full. On this ship, it has not been full, I'll tell you that right now. And then at night, it turns into the specialty dining. Again, they're just starting to get some of the food out for the morning, so it's not quite open yet, but it will be soon. The guys working hard back there. So there you go. That's a look at the Lido market. The same setup on both sides. You might find one or two different food items. We've got a restroom right here adjacent to the buffet. Morning. One thing that we have found, friendliness. People are crazy friendly on this cruise ship. Now you can access the back aft area from either side. Right now we are on the port side and we're gonna go back here. The starboard side, when you walk out, it's a smoking area. We'll show you that when we get out there. But well, we're gonna hit a button. These doors are gonna open outwards like that. And we're gonna get to the back aft pool area. I have no idea what the weather's like out here. Keep your fingers crossed. You're gonna have additional tables out here, which is great. So you can eat your breakfast outdoors, al fresca, I think that's what they call it. Now they've got all the chairs put up at the moment while they clean off the back deck. But this is the back deck area. They're gonna have a bar back here. Again, the starboard side is gonna be the smoking area over there, the port side, non-smoking. We've got the pool back here. Just a bigger open area with plenty of seating. You can come out here and get some sun. All right, the pools are gonna have the mechanical assistance to get into the water. If you're handicapped, if you struggle to get around, it's gonna be there for you. And again, this pool is gonna go from uh, four foot, 10 inches, all the way up to about uh, six feet deep. Something unique, because on most of the pools we see on the cruise ships are all about four, four and a half feet but these will give you a little depth. And you can see that water moving around from the movement of the ship right now. Getting ready to splash us. All right, so that is a look at the aft area of the Lido deck. We've seen the whole thing. Now it's time to head up to the sports deck. What do you think, are you ready? Let's check it out. I think we can go right up these stairs over here. Now listen, I can't get in there and show you, but I can give you a little idea. Club How is gonna be up here. If you've got the kids with you, now How in America, probably not a great spot for teens. Older kids may not be a lot for them to do, but younger kids, they will have a little bit of a childcare setup. Club How, that'll get them taken care of. We mentioned it's a sports deck. Here we are on the port side of the sports deck. You've got the pickleball court. Now back here is an entrance to Club How. Let me just show that to you guys real quick. I don't want to leave it out. Because if you do have kids, I know how important it is. So here's a Club How entrance. I'm not sure how deep we can get into here. There you go. Now let's go back out here to the sports court, walk through towards the front of the ship, see how far we can get on this sports deck. Because if I'm being totally honest with you guys, and you know I'm always honest, I haven't even been up here this cruise. All right, now you saw on the port side of the ship was the pickleball court. Here, 
You've got a basketball court on the starboard side. And they have also got the shuffleboard set up right here. So if you get some good weather, you can have some fun, play some games right there and have a great time. And of course, there's the beautiful Holland America smokestack. She looks great. I mean, you probably know like the carnival funnel stands out more in your mind, but this is a sharp looking clean smokestack. And I'll tell you what, being the oldest ship in the fleet, everything looks very, very clean, very well kept. The paint, I mean, everything, it just looks fantastic. All right, let's go this way. See if we can get inside here. All right, right here to my left, you do see the dome, right? This is the dome that covers that indoor pool, one deck down on the Lido deck. Now they haven't opened it, this cruise, although they have cracked it. Okay, I've seen it anywhere from six to eight feet open at times, just to get a little airflow going on. Deck nine, there is a little more of a sports deck going on up here. Let's just see what they've got. So right up here off of deck nine, just an open deck. It's very dark right now. You're not gonna see anything. I'm sorry about that, but it's an open deck where they'll just have lots of chairs out for sunbathing. This would be considered deck 10. Not that it's a secret deck, but you know, hey, not a lot of folks out here. All right, so let's get downstairs. And we save one of the most popular spots for last. All right, now we're gonna get inside. Here we are, deck nine, forward. One of the most popular spots on the ship. That's right, guys. It's the crow's nest. Fabulous viewing area, relaxing area. Let's check it out. Comfortable seating throughout and amazing views through kind of the almost floor to ceiling windows. Very cool bar area right here. Kind of coffee, things like that you can get as well. Goes all the way to the other side of the ship. And you can just spend the day up here relaxing, checking out the views, and doing your thing. So there you go. That's a crow's nest. That's the Volendam. And that's about a wrap for our cruise ship tour. Hey guys, so that's a wrap. Thanks a lot for joining me on the cruise ship tour here. Holland America's Volendam. It's a gorgeous ship. It's small, it's quiet, but it's a great time. The service, the food, and every aspect has been fabulous. So uh, check out Holland America if you haven't done it already. If you need to book a Holland America cruise, contact Sharon. Sharon at C at gmail.com. Sharon at C at C A at gmail.com. And until next time, from all of us here, Sharon at C, to all of you, thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next video.